At Mossy Earth, innovation is at the heart of how we approach nature restoration. Through projects like our kelp restoration trials in Portugal and experiments with termites to combat desertification in Benin, we're already exploring new methods and ideas, but we want to do more. Innovation can help bridge the big gap between available funding and the resources needed to halt the loss of biodiversity, because even small improvements to existing methods can create a massive impact when ecological interventions are scaled up. But despite this, it can be hard to get funding to test new restoration methods because the bulk of conservation funds are being channeled to actions that are expected to provide fast and direct results. The result of this is that organisations running projects on the ground often lack the funds, capacity and incentives to try new things and carry out rigorous tests to understand what works and what doesn't. That's why we're glad to be in a position where we can offer some funding ourselves, in what we're calling the Mossy Earth Innovation Programme. This consists of a total fund of £60,000 for the programme's first cycle, which we will divide out to successful applicants. As we want to spread this out, the maximum funding we are willing to offer per applicant is £15,000, but we expect that most applications will ask for between two to £6,000. Although these are modest figures, our experience and that of our global network of partners is that with creativity and good planning, a lot can be achieved with this amount of money. We feel this fund has the potential to have a greatly outsized impact and could result in scalable, efficient and cost-effective solutions that might otherwise be left underfunded. In addition to the funding, we are working in partnership with the Conservation Evidence Team at the University of Cambridge to provide resources and support to successful applicants with experimental design, statistical analysis and sharing the knowledge generated by their project. On the applicant side of things, we ask that the project is completed within 24 months of starting and that they give us a progress update every quarter. At the end of the project, a report of findings and conclusions must be submitted and applicants must be happy for all findings to be made available to the public, alongside agreeing to share stories and the lessons learnt for a network of practitioners. Because after all, the goal is to improve practices across the board, not to keep advancements to ourselves. As innovation can come from anywhere, we welcome applications from all communities, practitioners and institutions. You don't necessarily need to have a degree on the subject of your test. However, we do of course still have eligibility criteria for what the funding can be used for, and we do ask that applicants are able to demonstrate their own ability to implement a robust experiment. So, if you have a project that you feel would be a good fit for the programme, we've included a link in the description and in a pinned comment that will take you to our webpage with additional information. Once you've read through and are happy to continue, there is a link on this webpage that will direct you to a questionnaire where we'll ask a series of questions about you and your project, such as what key questions and hypotheses your project will address, and how answering your target questions could improve practices in ecological restoration. From there, the projects will be selected by a mixed panel of five scientists and practitioners who will assess each application against four criteria. Applicants that manage to make it onto our shortlist will then be invited to an informal discussion to help us narrow down the selection. Applications open on the 3rd of February 2025 and close on the 31st of March. All applicants can expect to hear back within two months of the closing date. As a final note, I want to thank all of our members and those of you who support us in other ways for putting us in a position where we can launch something like this. And if you are considering applying, I wish you the best of luck.